Hello, I'm James Sheard and today I want to talk about buy to let property. I completely understand why people want to invest in buy to let property. It's been a great investment in the past, it's a good hedge against inflation and uh, it's a real thing that you can touch and feel and at the end of the day we're not building enough houses as a country to satisfy the population and demand for housing. I understand, understand all of that and that still gives buy to let a potential future. However, buy to let has become political. Of course it's political. What could be more important than where you live? And you must remember that there are increasing number of tenants and there are a lot more tenants than there are landlords. And that means that the politics is always going to be sort of slightly skewed towards the tenants. So what's happened so far? Well, so far this Conservative government has already tightened it up quite a lot. So they've increased the stamp duty on buy to let by 3%. So that's a significant change uh, and really bites. Um, and they've also stopped full tax relief um, on the interest. And now, tax relief on interest. Interest rates at the moment are a quarter of a percent. So if interest rates are a quarter of a percent, it doesn't really matter what the, uh, what the tax relief is because the interest rates are so low. Um, but if we assume that at some stage interest will be normalised at even low rates by historical uh, standards of 4%, then that, um, that extra tax will really begin to bite. Now, when I talk to uh, buy to let landlords about potentially increasing interest rates, they say quite simply, well, if interest rates go up, I'll be okay because we'll be able to increase the rent um, on the properties. Okay, but then you look at what Labour are doing and what Labour are suggesting. They were talking very clearly about uh, rent controls now, rent controls, it sounds like, oh, we're controlling rent, there are some, there's some rogue landlords out there and that's fine, that's a great thing to do. And, uh, and I understand that and I actually have some, some sympathy with it uh, because clearly there are some, uh, some people who are taking advantage of the shortage in the uh, housing market. However, what rent controls mean, if they're going to be effective, it means two things. It means that they give the tenants um, the right to stay in property beyond what you as the landlord might want um, and they mean that you'll, res you'll be restricted on rent increases. Now if you take these two things together you've got potentially increased interest, you've got non-allowability um, of the interest for tax and then you've got control over the rent so you can't increase the rents if your, if your costs go up. And if you put all that together there's obviously the potential um, that the economic, economics of uh, buy to let will be harmed and in many ways it's what the two, two political parties for, um, for, for their own purposes want so, so I think we've got to be really aware of that, um, that uh, sort of political context. So what I'm not saying is that there's going to be a crash and that uh, the property market is, is, going, to, uh, is going to immediately uh, you know, be destroyed or anything like that I mean because I don't know, I can't read the future but what I can see is that there are risks in the buy to let market that there weren't there sort of 10 years ago. Um, and I also know that when political parties start suggesting things, they can become infectious. So one party agrees something and then the other party needs to compete on that policy and you can get things sort of spiraling away. But what I am suggesting is that you really need to make sure that you've got your, your risks understood, that when you buy to a buy to let, um, you're not uh, investing money that you can't afford to lose, which is always a good, a good idea with investment, um, and also um, that, uh, that, that, that you're gearing overall, and you're borrowing and debt overall within your, any, any buy to let portfolio is at a reasonable and sensible level. If you want to talk through that, then please do. Uh, I'm, uh, I'd like to discuss it with you. I'm James Shear from the Accountancy People. If you like these videos, please like them um, on, on, the, on YouTube. Uh, please feel free to comment. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to our, um, our channel, that would be great. Thank you.